What's going on everybody? It's been a little bit. I went to go film a, a video for tonight and I realized the reason why I hadn't been filming videos, which I'd forgotten, is that I broke the cell phone mount for my tripod, which is what I use to film everything. So tonight I'm going to give you a, a handheld uh, video and I'm going to look at some different kitchen gadgets that you probably ought to have. Uh, some of them are, are a little specialized, but, but here's some things that I keep in my kitchen that I think are probably useful for pretty much everyone. All right, we're just gonna kind of go down the rows here. I think a cast iron skillet is amazing for cooking. I would recommend that everyone get one and learn how to keep it seasoned. I use it to cook meat, I use it to cook vegetables. Uh, I put it in the oven, I use it on the stove top, it's fantastic. A trivet of some kind, you wanna keep a couple of these around your kitchen. Uh, you don't want to be putting hot things down on countertops or on things that could burn. A couple different kinds of uh, tongs. You want to be able to pick up things that are hot or just use it to serve things. A slotted spoon. A spatula. A whisk. I have a whisk that has some silicone uh, coated things and it's nice because you can whisk things that are in your pots and pans that you don't want to scratch the bottom of. An immersion blender. Uh, this happens to be Cuisinart. You can get whatever kind you want. TJ Maxx has them a lot. Uh, they're, they're fantastic for being able to smooth out sauces or for mixing up. You can make uh, mayonnaise with them. There's all kinds of different immersions and emulsions that you can use it for. Uh, mortar and pestle. I don't use this one a ton, but I think it's great to have for when you do want to use it. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room and it's actually quite inexpensive. Uh, peeler. This this one happens to be OXO brand. I think it's it's quite sharp. It works even on, on uh, butter butternut squashes, which is a great thing to be able to peel since it's got a pretty tough skin. Uh, I would recommend a meat thermometer. That way, when you're grilling or, or cooking meat, you can always get it just right. A wine opener, bottle opener, a can opener. This one actually has a uh, a a bottle opener on it so you could have a wine opener that didn't but most of them do some kitchen twine this will last you a ton of time but you can tie up different kinds of roasts or meats or tie together uh, chicken if you're putting it all together a grater uh, this one has a couple different kinds of uh, grates you can do this one we happen to get as a gift at some point this is a, a citrus squeezer i use a lot of lemons and limes and this is great. It catches the seeds, the juice goes out, and it's not like the kind that you just hold in your hand and twist and have to, and it ends up dripping down your hand a lot. So I th I, this is really nice. Um, this is a lemon zester or just a zester in general. This is very specialized. Not everyone needs one, but I have noticed that a lot of my uh, recipes use zest, and this gets these nice strips, whereas if you try to zest on this, you end up with little teeny tiny bits. So it depends on the texture you like. Uh, garlic press of some sort, That's uh, this one's got a rationing. It can do a whole bunch of garlic at a time. Uh, measuring cups and spoons, of course, a funnel. You, I bought these for cheap. I use them as mise en place cups. So basically you get your ingredients ready and you measure them out and you put them around so you can put them in your meal whenever you want. I think it was about $4 for the whole stack of them. And I have a tenderizer for smashing down uh, chicken or beef or whatever I happen to be cooking into nice little uh, tender flat pieces. So all that together is pretty much uh, the only things that you really, I think, need in your kitchen. Um, obviously, things like spatulas and wooden spoons um, are, are kind of a given. You definitely need those. But as far as things beyond your regular cookware, uh, I could get along with just these things for the most part. Now, if anybody has any ideas about things other than that that, that they think they need, uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what I'm leaving out. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this one was a little bit uh, impromptu and crazy. I hope that you enjoyed it. You learned something. Uh, next week, I've got a lot of business stuff that I got to be doing, so I'm not going to be able to make a video. And in fact, I'm not even going to be able to make a meal plan. Uh, I might just post one from a previous week. And then the following week, I'm hoping to have my new cell phone mount and I'll be able to make a recipe video for you. So have a great week, eat well, and let me know if there's anything that you want to see me talk about or something that you want to see me cook here on Primal Meal Plan. Thanks.